Hyperspeedmedia. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen the whole build process on a previous episode, go ahead and watch that. And for this episode, we're going to start up the truck for the very first time. Okay, for this episode, I'm just going to focus on starting the truck and nothing else, and all the startup sequence that you need to do and need to check to make sure it's good before we even start the truck. So the first thing first, make sure you have oil inside the engine, oil inside the transmission, coolant if you plan to start the engine and keep it running for a long time, and also make sure you have fuel in the tank. Okay, in my case, I'm just going to start up the engine. I'm not even adding the coolant in there because I don't plan to run the engine for long. I just want to check to make sure the engine is running. Then I'll take care of all the wiring bits and everything. Then I'll put the fluid and everything back in there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure our computer is talking to the ECU and I'll turn the ignition switch to on position, connect the USB to the computer, and update all the firmware to the latest firmware. Once everything is good, now we can continue with calibrating all the sensor. So the Mega Squirt is offline right now. I'm gonna turn the key on, it should go back online. So now the first thing we're gonna do is go to the drop menu on top and calibrate all the sensor. You want to click unlock and unlock the sensor, hit burn, close that tab. Now go back to tools and you can now calibrate all your sensor right here. Once you've finished calibrating your TPS sensor, map sensor, your air temperature sensor, and your coolant temperature sensor. Once everything is calibrated, we can go back and lock the sensor. And then click burn. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is check to make sure the crank sensor is working and the cam sensor is working. Um, there's a setting on the Tuna Studio to do that, to check that. And also what you could do is use a screwdriver and place it in front of the cam, uh, the crank sensor, and just kind of go over real quick. And it should give a reading also onto the computer. So you want to go into um, Diagnostic and High Speed Logger. You click on that. And Composite Logger right here. And you want to click Start. Since we're only checking the crank sensor and the cam sensor, we could unplug everything else so the engine won't start at all. We're just checking the signal to make sure we got a signal. Go ahead and unplug your ignition. And you can unplug your injector too, or take the fuse out for that. I'm just gonna take the fuse out for mine. And now I'm gonna crank the engine a few times and we should be getting a reading across the board right here. That tells us that the sensor is working and is ready to fire. As you see, those are the reading. Okay, now that we got a signal on the crank and also a signal on the cam, now is a good time to check to make sure your ignition is, is firing and your uh, injector is firing. So we're gonna plug the ignition back in and put the fuse back in the injector and the fuel pump. Okay, going back into Mega Squirt, if you go to this right tab right here where it says test mode, you would click that to the drop down menu. And what you can do is go to output test mode, injector and spark, click on that. It brings up this menu. And now we could test the fuel pump, the ignition and the injector. So you gotta click on enable test mode. And right here, if you click on, the fuel pump will pump. There you go. And, the, and you see the voltage is dropping down a little bit. I'm gonna hit that off. So I know my pump is working. Now I could test my coil. If you go here, you click on one, and then you click on coil A or coil B. For me, I only have, I'm using only A and B. Then you click start, you should hear a click noise, which means it's firing your um, ignition. So that is working. Now here's the last one, you wanna test your injector. Same thing, kinda of do the same thing, click the same thing, make sure it works and make sure it clicks. 
And now we're ready for the next step. Okay, so now we're ready to start the engine for the first time. Again, check to make sure everything is connected, make sure your vacuum is connected, and make sure you got fuel in your tank, oil, stuff like that, all the basic stuff. Make sure everything is covered. First thing I'm gonna do is make sure my mega squirt is on the main page where all the sensor is, is located. I'm monitoring the sensor and I'm cranking the engine. When you're cranking the engine, you should see a RPM spike up a little bit. Uh, that's mean that you're getting signal. So we're ready to start for the first time. Make sure your uh, transmission is in neutral and hopefully a start. So it's starting, but I gotta hold it idle, but it is starting, it has a base map on it, so we're good to go. All right guys, that's it for this video. If you haven't seen the whole build process, go ahead and watch that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do on the truck is actually adding, adding some nice wheel, lower it, and repaint the whole truck. So a lot of built coming for this truck, but also I got a, a rotary Miata built I'm doing next and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So make sure you like, subscribe, share the channel. See you on the next one. Hyper Speed Media.